Welcome back to Five Minutes in the Word with Redeem Girl Ministries, and I'm Marion Jordan Ellis. Last year, I went to New York City for a business trip, and while I was there, I took note of this group of high school girls. And they're beautiful, they're fun, they're having a great time. Well, what I noticed about them is they had their iPhone and they had their selfie stick. And for about 30 minutes in one spot, because I'm sitting in a cafe, I can see them. So for about 30 minutes in one spot, they spent time trying to perfect the perfect selfie. I mean, these girls, they had the background, they had the lip gloss, they had the look, and they held up the selfie stick and they posed and posed and posed. And then they would take it and they'd look at it. And they would, like four of them, they would get around, they would analyze it, critique it, and every time hit delete. They could not come up with the perfect image. They could not capture this image of the perfect moment, the perfect scene, the perfect look, and this, and that just reminded me of our whole lives. In our lives, we are trying our darndest to achieve perfection. Whether it's in our families, our homes, our lives, we're like that gaggle of girls who are trying to take this selfie and we keep holding up and looking at it and going, this is not perfect, this is not right, and then hitting delete and starting all over again. Well, thankfully, um, when we look at ourselves, we see all kinds of shortcomings. We see our flaws, we see where we are fallen, we see where we have made mistakes. But you know what, when we look up, we get to see a God who is perfect in every way. We get to see our God who is perfect in his love, perfect in his provision, perfect in his justice. And there's no reason that he needs editing and there's never a moment that he needs deleting because he is the essence of all perfection. Today we're looking at a scripture in Psalm chapter 18 which praises the perfection of our God. And I'll look at, look at it with me and it says, God's way is perfect. All the Lord's promises prove true. He is a shield for those who look to him for protection. So as we look at this Psalm, we see a couple things. First of all, it exalts the Lord as the one true perfect being, the one true perfect one. And all of the attributes we've been studying over this year, we can say that all of those things are true of him, but he is the perfection of all of them. He is the perfection of love. He is the perfection of justice. He is the perfection of provision. He is the perfect one. But here's what it does for us. This Psalm reminds us that his love, that his perfection is a protection for us. It protects us, first of all, from shame. Because when I look at myself and I see my, my shortcomings and my sin and my failures, you know what the enemy wants to tell me? It wants to tell me, you are a failure. You're not good enough. You don't measure up. But you know what? God doesn't want us looking at us. He wants us looking at him. And when we lift our eyes off ourselves, thank the Lord, and look at him, we see true perfection. And he says, you know what? I make you righteous. I make you whole in my son. And so it's not about your sin or shortcomings. It's about what I do in you because he is the perfect provider. It also protects us from destruction. This Psalm reminds us that God's way is good. God's way is perfect. Proverbs 14, 12 says, there's a way that seems right to man, but in the end it leads to death. This is such a great explanation because we think we know the right way, but in the end, our right way leads to destruction and death. But God's way, according to this verse, is perfect. And so when we believe God's truth, when we follow his way, it not only leads to the highest and best, but it is a protection for our lives. And when we come to comprehend that not only is God the perfect being, but his way is perfect, his plan is perfect, he is perfect in all he does, then that gives us a vision, not only uh, for what to run for, but a vision of what life is about. God's ways are good because God is perfect. God's perfection also protects us from sin. Now there's a proverb that says, there's a way that seems right to man, but in the end it leads to death. Left to our own devices, 
we would choose a path, we would choose a way that is not for our best. It brings destruction because by our sin nature, we're going to be gravitated towards things that hurt us and things that destroy us. But when we come and follow God and we put our hand, life in his hands, we begin to understand that his ways, his precepts, his truth, his teaching, when we follow those, those are the perfect path. So what that does is it protects us from those harmful detours. So therefore, this this meditation on the fact that God is perfect not only frees us from shame as we look at ourselves and think, woe is me, I'm just a mess, but it also frees us from the, the evil consequences that sin would want to do to us as we understand, yes, I want to follow God because his way is perfect, his way is good, and that's where ultimate life and blessing will be found. Our God is perfect. We don't have to try to edit and delete and start over every single day. We can look to him, we can look to his word, and we can find life in it.